In this lecture, I am going to create direct comment API in point node.js. So let's open our block comment.out.js file and then let's add a new route for our direct comment API endpoint. Route method will be delete and URL will be our base URL slash block slash comment slash comment ID as a route parameter slash delete. And this API endpoint should be protected. That's why I am adding auth middleware to protect this endpoint so that a user need to provide API token through author generator to delete his comment and it will execute block comment controller as delete method. Now let's open our block comment.controller.js file and then let's export a method called delete. Let's get request and response as a parameter to this method. And now I will copy the code from our update method which I created in the last lecture and I will paste the code inside our delete method. Don't worry, I will explain that one by one and for now I'll remove this code from here and the first thing I'm doing inside this delete method I'm getting the comment ID from request panel subject and I'm storing the comment ID to a variable called comment underscore ID and then I'm checking is this comment ID a valid mongoose ID or not and if this comment ID is not a valid mongoose ID then I am returning a JSON response with message invalid comment ID and then I am finding the comment with this comment ID from our block comments collection with the help of block comments find one method okay and inside this find one method I am providing the condition is an object and I am providing underscore ID is equal to this comment ID and we will get the comment data inside this callback method and inside this callback method I am checking if no comment found then I am returning a JSON response with message no comment found and if any comment found then I am storing kindly authenticated user data to this kind underscore user variable and we can get kindly authenticated user data from this request user key because our delete comment API endpoint is protected so that an user need to provide API token through authorization header to delete his comment then only you can get kindly authenticated user data from this request user key now I will check is this comment is owned by currently authenticated user or not and if this comment is not owned by currently authenticated user then I am returning a JSON response with message access denied and if this comment is owned by currently authenticated user then I will allow the user to delete the comment and we can delete the comment with the help of block comment model delete one method and instead of delete one method we need to provide the condition and the condition will be underscore id is equal to the comment id and this will return as a promise so i'll use out here and after deleting the comment data i'll remove the comment id from our blog underscore comments array of our blog data so we need to update the blog data also so I'll update the block data with the help of block models update one method and inside this update one method we need to provide the condition in the first parameter so the condition will be underscore id is equal to the blog id from where we'll get the blog id we'll get the blog id from this comment object because each of our comment has a blog id so I'll provide the blog id here as a condition and then in the second parameter we need to provide the data whatever the data we want to update for the blog and I am going to remove the comment id from this blog underscore comments array of our blog data right now we have six comment id inside this blog underscore comments array of this blog so I am going to remove the comment id from blog underscore comments array so I'll provide dollar pool is equal to blog underscore comments and I'm going to remove this comment ID from our blog underscore comments array that's why I'm passing this comment ID here and this will return as a promise so I'll use avid here and I'll put this code inside a try catch block for error handling so if any error occurs inside this try block then I will return a JSON response with message whatever the error message we will get from this 
error data and we will also return the error data to this data key and I will put this code inside this try block and after deleting the comment data I will return a JSON response with message comment successfully deleted and the status code will be 200 we need to change the message here the message will be comment successfully deleted now it's time to test our delete comment ap endpoint from postman from postman let's open a new tab and then let's provide the request url which will be our base url slash block slash comment slash comment id as a route parameter let's get a comment id from our get comment ap endpoint suppose i want to delete this comment then we need to provide this comment id as a route parameter for our delete comment ap endpoint and then slash delete let's execute this endpoint actually we need to change the method here the method will be delete let's execute this endpoint without providing any api token you see now we are getting a json response with message please log in to continue because we need to provide api token through authorization header and we can generate api token with the help of login api i am generating api token for this user let's generate a new token and then let's provide the token in the authorization value now if i execute this endpoint before that if we check that we have six comments for this block now if i execute this endpoint you see we are getting a json response with message comment successfully deleted and if i refresh our block data you see now we have four comment uh, five comment id inside this block comment array that means we successfully remove the comment id from this block underscore comments array and also we successfully remove the data from our block comments collection so our delete comment api is successfully completed in the next lecture i am going to load total comments count for each block so i am going to modify our get box api endpoint and i will also modify our create block, update block and block details a pain point so stay connected